Not spice, not spice. 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 Not Yeah man, do, or up, load up the live for me please and thank you very much. Enough up this live for me, please and thank you very much. You understand? Yes. Jamaica, no I'm good man. Jamaica. World. This life is just some random information. I go tell you all this. In the words of Bob Marley, no, Abuja. Abuja, Abuja Bantan. Abuja seems not an easy. It's not an easy road. Abuja, that door. That's that. Abuja Bantan. It's not an easy road. May I tell you this? Not all that glitters is good. Hello, sir. Sir. May I tell you something? It's a success. Everybody always try to run towards success and try to attain success and, and crave and yearn for success. But it's when, when success reach and everybody can angle it. And everybody can angle success. And everybody can 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 embrace success and know say, alright, boom. This what I'm having is something that I truly and really and truly deserve. Zane, let me tell you something. Even I myself, I'm in a reach nowhere yet. I have to talk straight. I'm in a reach nowhere yet. No way yet. I'm in a reach nowhere in a life. Despite my own little few little foolishness. Me not reach nowhere in a life yet. Me, I am nobody. I am a still. I am still broke and pauperized. Majority of the times, I am hungry. <laughs> not because I crave. Yes, but yeah, majority of the time, I'm hungry. You understand me? I say, I'm going to tell you this. See, I like how people live and to mouth. See, I like how people have to set so and budget as some have a budget too. Same way, so me have to set and look and think about my expenditure and think about how much money I have coming in and think about creating new income revenue and new income stream or, or revenue stream, sorry, new income streams and them something. I have to do them something. Too. You understand? I have to try my best to be as dynamic as I possibly can in a managing my finances to ensure that I keep my head above water. You understand? Just like everybody else, when you set so you do, do, do something and success has come, you always have. Things where those pop up unexpectedly, where those sets and take away some of your income where you never did even really plan for. So, once you ever have things that are gonna pop up in your life where you have to go realign and reassess your finances to deal with, trust me, you're not rich. You understand me? I say, I remember this, I never tell people this. So some of me tell people all the while success is not even measured, measured by the amount of money where you have, success is not measured by the amount of external components that you put in your life and them something that i know when success is measured at, measured by success is measured by how satisfied you are with what it is that you have achieved that is what success is if you're not satisfied with what you are doing you're not successful and if you are the richest person in the world if you're not satisfied with what it is that you have accomplished you are not successful you understand and that is something a lot of people really and truly need to look at. It makes no sense. You go out there every day and you work so hard. And you toil and you till the soil. And you put in the work and you have the sleepless nights and all them something. And you earn money and you earn income and you buy the things that you need to buy and where you feel like you want to buy. And after you buy them, you still have a empty hole in your heart. You still have an empty hole in your soul. You still feel like say, something is missing. If you have a work, and your main purpose for work are for people for look on you and tell you say yo my proud of you are people for look on you and genuine and tell you say oh you are doing a good job it not make no sense your work if you can't find your own self satisfaction or your own self gratification it makes no sense you continue to put in the work you bet you sit down and turn cruff you bet you don't sit down and turn cruff if I, if I that are your sense I've saying okay, I have accomplished somebody said triple. You're craving because you're always hungry. So you're saying you're hungry not because you're craving. It's just you as a politician. <laughs> what I say. I flip flop. I chew. I chew. Cause I'm always hungry. I always out there push myself to get more. And I understand that's not really a bad quality. You understand me? I say, but either the time I still revel in what it is that I have accomplished. I'm still proud of myself in what I do, even though I still want more. So I still look for myself and say, I'm really and truly do not reach the pinnacle of where I want to reach it. 
You understand? And when you set goals for yourself, when you set a goal, especially if it's a long-term goal, make sure say, it's a goal that is sustainable. So that when you reach that goal, eh, your goal now gonna be outdated or your goal now gonna be insufficient. Make sure say it's a goal that is adequate. That's why I tell people say, you see, your goal, your goal, having a goal is not something that is set in stone. It's not something that is that is um finite. You understand? A goal, when you set a goal for yourself, it's supposed to be something that is mutatable. It has to be something that is it metamorphic, where it's transformative, where it's something that change during time, something with that, that will always that will be, be so dynamic that it remains timeless. You understand? You can be a person where you work now in a 2000 and this how we in a 2021 and your ultimate goal in a life if you have a 2022 Mercedes Benz. That can be ultimate goal. Because if that is a 10 year goal, 10 years from now, our 2011, 20, 20, 2031, sorry, 2031 and in a 2031 when you finally get to achieve your goal, your goal is a is a 2020 is a 2022 Benz. That not gonna make no sense. Your goal, your goal, your goal dated. Your goal, your goal lapse. You understand? Zin, you don't need to have nobody a clap for you when you win. Nobody no need to a celebrate and a laud you for the things that you do. You in yourself supposed to can know say, all right, yes, I'm proud of myself because I do this. And you're supposed to have some form of self-satisfaction and self-gratification, knowing that you have achieved the goal that you have set for yourself. No. I say this because all of this I am saying because there are a lot of people who create phantom or imaginary enemies you understand and this is something that is very prevalent in Jamaica especially in the dancehall culture where we fantasize about people Jer, stop papa where we fantasize about people bad minding us and we fantasize about people hating us and fantasize about people grudging us so much that we create this false fallacy of haters and people trying to fight against us that we even ter in turn end up defeating ourselves because we start focusing on people who have no focus on us any at all and we cannot ever and when you do that we start focus on people in a business boy you you end up can't even get fit taste the sweetness of the success where you are getting all in your taste I just all your mouth, all your taste, I just the bitterness of you trying to fight against people who are fighting against you. Who the people who you think are fighting against you don't even notice that you are there, you're not even, you have no relevance to them. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. You understand me, I say? Don't get me wrong, you know. Bad mind real, you know. Bad mind real, but bad mind can't do nothing to you. Bad mind now have no teeth. Bad mind not have no teeth. If somebody else, somebody had just sit down and eat you and chat you, that cannot do nothing to you whatsoever. That cannot hurt you. That should be fixed and fling, uh, fling in your inside. That's in your rear view. Unless you look up in the rear view, if you go look, unless you yourself take up yourself, if you go look for the people and we are bad mind and chat you, it cannot affect you. And when you start look for it and start focus on it, and then it start deter you or distract you from whatever goals you have set at hand, that is where the problem lies. And the moment, the moment that you feel like say you are you are needing or you are in, 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 in you, 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 you cannot function without people looking at you in admiration or adoration, that is the moment that you have lost yourself and lost who you are. When you know truly who you are and what you are and what you are about, other people's business is a, is a non issue to you. It's inconsequential. You understand me, I say? No, it have no purpose to you, none at all. Zin, all of who feel like say people bad mind them, I tell you this people. 90% are in our head. I tell you this. 90% are in your head. When you notice every time I state, I said, so I put up my Monday motivation and I can check back. When I said, so I do my weekly affirmation, and I have to tell people this all the time. You see, my weekly affirmation, it is not for Uno. When you see me put up my Monday motivation, I don't put it up for motivate Uno. I put it up for motivate myself. Because this is something I need to do for myself. And remind me, to keep me grounded, to keep me knowing, say, all right, boom, family, you can do this. Whether I'm having a good week or a bad week, I still can do this. I still need to motivate myself. Be my, you need to be a, your, your own motivation. 
this, despite whatever the detractors are saying, despite whatever people are saying, forget you down, despite however people hate to know, but all right, they have shown us something. Suppose me did focus on all of the negative things that my people say about me. Suppose me focus on all of the negative things that people say about me. Suppose me did for sex and go to everybody when me hear people say attacks or not certain things about me. The amount of things where they chat about me. The amount of things sometimes. All right, let me show you something. You ever hear, so, hear so somebody has said something about you? And the way that somebody has tell you what the person has said about you? You're so captivated by what the person has said. It's like you, you know one of them for don't chat because the story seems so graphic. Uh, yeah, it's like you say, Bomba. So what else them say? Because you're so captivated by the fantasy that them create oh, about you. That them start to talk some things where eh? it is so intriguing all you yourself. You're, it's like you want to go for a little popcorn for find out what come for the next episode. Of them a chat a bag of things about you. Eh? Like your wife, you know, say no man. What else? So what else we do? I, I, when them attack, say you know, same girl. This go do. So and and then, so so, so what we do after that? What, what, what we do next? Car. The story so and so credible, and it's so and so hyper fantasize that you say bomba. No man, this interested more of here. You understand? When people sit down, sit down and chat, boy, you can't focus on that. You cannot focus on that. You cannot focus on that. Once you start focus on that, a dead, a dead, a kill, a kill yourself. I mean, I tell you this straight. I am telling you this straight. Once you start with that, I kill you, I kill yourself. Number one, me hear some things sometimes. Let me say so I'm going through some of the things that I hear about myself. Yes, can I need to share them? God, they're very interesting. Number one, the thing where everybody hear, me hear say me a thief. Fine, me hear that. Me hear say, me gay. The amount of places me go go hear say me about the man. Some one time I raise with somebody. And they must say, you know, the boy triple X, the person that talk to me and I know say I mean him triple X. And, and the person that tell me, say me about him, and the person that tell me, say me. My man living in one big house up a up a red hills. Dylan, you know what they you know, you know, you know who them attack say my man, say my man did when when we did buy the vaccine, the white vaccine, you remember who you know them say I'm a man buy me the vaccine. You know who them say I'm a man do they? Eh? We live, we live up at the big house, man, up to, uptown, man, we, we have the advertisement company, man, the ad agents who used to work. Them say I'm a man used to work for. You know who them say was my man? You remember? Must be a year that story. Yeah, well, me used to hear it hard. I wrote. My gosh, two of hear it too. Say me say my man say, say a man did buy me buy, buy me buy me the van, the first van I have. But man did buy me the van. Them say the man who used to work for. Dylan Reed was my man. I don't even know how I did I don't know how that, that, that did come about, but me hear that. You understand? Me hear the amount of things that me hear me hear say me have woman of woman of, from before my baby mother even migrate that friend. Me hear say woman of mind me. Me hear say man of mind me. Me hear say me this, me hear say me that, me hear one heap of things that me hear, the amount of things that me hear about myself it used to go. You understand them say me enough, them say me extra, them say me running, them say me nah no talent, them say me nah go go nowhere. Them check the amount of things, but guess what? We don't worry about them distractions there. We don't give once you give voice to them things there, you give thoughts to them things there. A life you get. A life you get. You just focus on yourself. No matter how people don't like you, no matter how people try to tear you down, no matter how people try to fight you. You understand me, I say? You see, once you know what you are about, talent will always prevail. Your own personal talent will always prevail. You understand me? I say when them try to lock door for you, me look, you know, who me look on as, as, as my biggest motivation in an entertainment, you know, the boy with him, Chris Brown. You say, Chris Brown, brother, Chris Brown are my biggest motivation that you eh? Not because I don't know Chris Brown personally, but with what did go on with him and Rihanna when him did, when him did, when him, when him, well, me don't know if Kyle never get you no know, criminal charges against him. When him did allege that him did beat up Rihanna, and beat the shit out of her in the car and all them something there. Yeah, sure. me don't know, me don't know, you don't know, you never did that, but that's how we hear. <laughs> See? So him did beat her. You understand me, I say? One heap of thing and the whole world did I say, oh, Chris Brown done with and Chris Brown mash up and him can't come back. Him go up on Oprah, Oprah rub him out. Wendy Williams rub him out. Everybody rub him out and say, Jesus Christ, from Oprah done with you, everybody done with you. And the people them say, oh, that you can't come back. Now, who is the biggest pop singer in the world? Who are the biggest name in a pop music in the world right now? Drake. Yeah, man. Chris Brown is the biggest pop, pop singer in the world. Drake is a rapper. What? 
the pop singer, the biggest pop singer in the world is Chris Brown. And Chris Brown always the on top. Chris, 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 Chris Brown is the most sought after collaborated person, or the most collaborated person in the whole entire music industry of present day to your life right now. You understand? Zin? The man collab with every single body, and everybody really want to collab. It's like how everybody in the dance hall really want to collab with Vibes Cartel. So everybody in the RB and hip hop want to collab with Chris Brown. You understand? Zin? So when everybody see, when we look upon them man, they see all oh, them man they come back from hell, because basically hell, them crucify that man, fling him from cross and do everything to him that is bad. Whether, we, whether it be justifiable or not, and the man still come back, the man never give up because what? The man extremely talented. And next youth, I have to look upon to the youth named Torlins, a little short, um, umpa lumpa looking brother there. Torlins, him, when the man sits and shot me again, the stallion or do whatever them say him do to her, everybody said them done with the man, cancel him, you know. Everybody see them chance him, but yet so. Two aliens they on top right and now see him because the man keep him high on the price and never bother listen to them. The, the thing never address it now. Nothing. Just focus on him talent where you're good at. Focus on what it is that you are good at doing and done. Now I got to tell you this. People in a in entertainment. People were in a the entertainment fraternity. Let me talk to Jamaica now. People that are in the entertainment fraternity of Jamaica. Nobody gives a shit. What it is that you own. Nobody gives a shit where it is that you live. Nobody gives a shit what it is that you drive. Nobody gives a shit about how much money you make per night. Nobody gives a shit about that. When somebody said some put on them clothes and left out of them yard, was now in a curfew when they might risk it for the biscuit, when they might risk them freedom, when they might risk them financial stability. When they are risk it for get lock up crime police all and pull and draw and people left them yard and risk it for come out and come stand up in a one party, them come for stand up in a one party to enjoy themselves. To be entertained. That is the most important thing. Nobody don't business about who don't like you or who you do not like. Unless you can coin that in a in a way that is